Hi guys, this is Dan, Whiskey One, Charlie, United India. I got to thinking about the coronavirus and the current situation we're in in America and decided to look at my current station, my portable station that's all housed in this backpack and figure out a way to make it work better for constant and reliable communications versus the fun I was having running QRP or low power, which is less than five watts on, on the station. So I've come up with a new way of, of looking at the station, a new way of configuring it. I'm gonna show that to you today. It uses a different transmitter, uses different batteries, and the antenna is gonna be put in a different configuration as well. So I'm gonna lay everything out of the backpack on the ground for you to see what I've done. I'll walk through it a little bit, and then we'll put the station together and we'll make some contacts. Okay, here you can see everything that I've had in the backpack. What you see up front is the radio in its case. I've got a folding chair right here. I've got a, an antenna analyzer, which you don't really need, but uh, I happen to have one, so I'm going to use it. Solar panels that are fold up and uh, all the wires and controllers are inside. I've got a folding table here. And then I've got my buddy pole antenna. Uh, I've also got a new type of battery that I'm gonna be showing here and using. This is a, a lithium ion phosphate battery. It weighs one and a half pounds and compared to the other batteries, the sealed lead acid batteries like this one, this is approximately five pounds. And if I use the bigger battery, which I had for the other radio, this is probably more like 15 pounds. Um, so I'm going to give this new battery a try today. Uh, realistically, if I was going to use this um, continuously for my station, I'd probably get another one and uh, parallel them up. This battery is six amp hours. So with the radio that I'll be using, I'll get about 12 hours of just receive time with this battery or approximately two hours or three hours of transmit time. So I'll now put the camera in time-lapse mode and then when it's all put together, we'll go and uh, talk about each of the individual pieces. Okay, now that everything's set up, we need to tune the antenna. So right now you can hear some noise coming from the radio and you can hear some squabble in the background but I don't really have the antenna hooked up yet so we're going to do that and we're going to adjust the coil for the loudest signal that we can hear so if we look at this now and I can simply just take the hot end and run it up and down the coil to the antenna and see which parts loudest It seems like almost at the top, it's the loudest. So we're going to cl clip this on. Not tight, just going to clip it on a little bit. And now we can go back to the radio. And we can check our SWR meter. Good afternoon, you're five by eight, fifty eight, my friend. But since but since I have an antenna analyzer here, I'm gonna hook the antenna analyzer up and I'm gonna measure the exact SWR of the antenna. Okay, I've connected the antenna to the antenna analyzer, and now I'm gonna turn it on. And you, you can see it's 14.83 megahertz, if you look at that, which is above the amateur band. And the SWR is really good there. But as I go down to where I need to be in the amateur band, let's just say we're gonna be in the 250 range, somewhere in there. The SWR is almost three. So we've gotta make some changes um, to the antenna in order to make it work a little better and to make the changes i can simply either adjust the antenna length or i do have a counterpoise wire that's running uh, you can see it over there a little bit and i'll i'll uh, move along here i have a counterpoise that's running the length here and what i can simply do 
is just lengthen this a little bit and see if we can bring that down. Okay, I've changed the length of that counterpoise wire. And now you can see that I've got pretty good SWR. And I could probably just shorten it just a hair more. But we have an antenna tuner built into the radio. So we're going to use the antenna tuner. Italy. Ciao from Alex, thank you. Whiskey One, Charlie, Uniform India. Uh, who's the Uniform India, Uniform India? Yes, this is Whiskey One, Charlie, Uniform India. Uh, one, uh, Charlie, Uniform India, please complete your call. Whiskey One, Charlie, Uniform India. Charlie Uniform India. I'm sorry about there is Potter. Very a station very close to my frequency. Five and five in the clear. Washington one Charlie Uniform India. Five and five. Name is Alex. Over over. Thank you very much, Alex. I'm testing out a new station. You are five by nine, five by nine in the state of New Hampshire. Uh, can you tell me your location, please? Roger, thank you for five and nine New Hampshire. My Location is 10 km east from the city of Pisa, Papa, India, Sierra America, in the middle part of Italy, in Tuscany, over, over. Very good, Alex. I won't keep you very long, but thank you for that. And I wish you all the best with the, uh, the virus situation in your country. Uh, 73, and thank you for the contact. Whiskey One, Charlie Uniform, India. Roger, Roger. Thanks a lot, and uh, good luck to you and uh, all the USA people. So thanks once again. Ciao, and uh, stay well. This is Italy, Italy 5, Mexico, Papa, Italy, QRZ. Okay, as you just heard, I just spoke to uh, Alex in Pisa, Italy, and um, in the middle of the coronavirus situation here, uh, he's out reaching out to people all over the world. So let's show you what the rest of the station looks like. I showed you the antenna and uh, I'll get back to that in a second. But let me show you the power. Again, I mentioned the battery situation before using the lithium ion, ion phosphor. So there is a 60 watt solar panel. Uh, they fold up about the size of a 11 by 8 uh, paper. They fold up very cleanly can put in a backpack in the back here um, you can see I have the the actual controller for the solar panel which is connected to the battery that I have here as well and that'll supply enough power to get me through the day and it's hooked up to the back of the radio on the antenna as I mentioned earlier we adjusted it for the best signal we can I am in a vertical configuration versus a standard dipole con configuration, which the buddy pole system comes standard as. And the wire that I have here is called a counterpoise. And it's basically a wire that, that <clears throat> helps the antenna resonate at certain frequencies. And by adjusting the length of the wire, the counterpoise, I can actually control the SWR. So this whole station, very small setup, um, but as you can see, you can talk around the world very easily. It's great for your, uh, if you're a prepper or if you're just out wanting to communicate, um, but a very simple setup. Now, another comment I'm going to make is on the radio. Um, in the beginning of this video, I said that I wanted to focus a little bit more on getting consistency and reliable communications worldwide. The other radio that I was using last year, which is the MCHF radio, was a corp radio. That means low power radio, less than 10 watts. This radio um, is a, one of the new, what we call SDR radios or software defined radios um, that you can program it in a variety of different ways depending on, on, on the use case. But this radio goes to 20 watts. Now there's a big difference between 10 watts and 20 watts and being and having reliable communication. So I've chosen the um, the 20 watt uh, radio HF radio. It works very very well. I get very consistent communications worldwide using this radio along with a simple vertical dipole.
So I hope you enjoyed my short video on my solar station. I'll be doing some more videos talking about digital D-Star, DMR, and fusion radios in the near future. But for now, 73s, we'll catch you on the air.